second full day. Yeah. It is. What day is it? Wednesday. 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 A little bit cooler today, so shorts and t-shirt might have been a <laughs> gamble. It's not cold though. It's not cold, it's just cooler. Yeah. Pleasant. I think if you were local, you'd probably be wearing a jumper. Oh, they were complaining and I went into the Starbucks to get in the Starbucks in the hotel. Yeah. And they were saying, oh my God, isn't it cold today? And I'm stood there in like shorts and t-shirt yeah. going, no, You don't I'm know, cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely so, roasting. The decision is we're going to go to Universal Studios today. Yeah. We're on the bus. So we're going to go and get that bus shortly. We booked on the bus last mm -hmm. night. Uh, we just asked for your name and how many people were in your party. And then you just give your name to the bus driver. Smash today. Nice and easy. So the good thing I did this morning was we have a new sun cream which is like a an aerosol spray. So I had my shower, got out of the shower, brushed my teeth, put my deodorant on, put my aftershave on, put my sun cream on, on my arms, on my Young face, arms. on my chest, on my armpits, because I got it mixed up with the deodorant. <laughs> and here's the bus just outside of the front of the hotel, right by the light bite. We are in Universal. Security was an absolute breeze today. Through in seconds. It is. Disney could take a leaf out of there, but with regards to uh, bag checks. Yeah, you just it and if anything shows up instead. Yeah. Well, it is. So tomorrow is forecast to be a colder day. Already Volcano Bay has said that they're going to be closed. The nest over here, aren't they really? <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, we, we did centre parks and went out when it was snowing in the pool. So, just 18 months after saying I would probably only do Universal once every five or so years. Look where we are. <laughs> and the shrimp is out. Put it away, Jam. He's back in Ingus with his dirty, dirty hands. Voodoo Donut wasn't there last time we were here. That was, and we went there and it wasn't great. <laughs> and of course we got a selfie here. Yeah. Everywhere we go still has the Christmas decorations up. Or some of them at least. We're in. Queues weren't too bad to get through, although we did get the least happy person in the world that we get. But there was a lot of people seen to be having trouble with tickets today, so we'll excuse them. <coughs> yeah, very much in the park now. It's a bit of a draft, so I've changed to cameras. Yeah. Got a lot of football things going on here. Uh, it doesn't look like any of the um, pre-bookable queues for Jimmy Fallon or Fast and Furious are currently active. We think it's, we're hoping it's because it's quiet. But the queues aren't big for anything other than, as usual, minions. Ow. We're getting a lot of Christmas trees that we weren't expecting to get on this trip, which Gemma's loving. Liking Universal being this quiet as well. It stays like this all day, that'd be lovely. <laughs> and the sun's coming out, yeah? Okay. And this wasn't open last time we were here. So we are going to come back to these because we want to get the Harry Potter ride done first because that's still seemingly the, the highlight and it is because it's a good ride. Yeah, it's looking really nice along here today. We'll have to check out Rooster Shark later. <laughs> Some uh, Fast and Furious cars there. It's like me and Gemma are speaking, and I should let you do the voiceover bit, shouldn't I? We're both saying the same thing at the same time. And heading into London, London again. So it's all weather's a bit more London today. It's like London on a yeah. It's like London on a, a sort of late spring day today. It is. The wind's blowing all the cloud off. There's a sail on at Buxton. This never doesn't look like you're going into toilets. Maybe 
get a bit of food later. I'm not sure if we'll eat at the Leaky Cauldron. It's even still quite busy here on a quiet day in the park. A lot more room than there was last time we were here. We're going to start the day and try and get on Green Dots, I think. Do you want to do it? It's not going to get any lower. And we managed to get through Green Dots, which was posted in a 30 minute way. We got through in 15, so that was pretty good going. It's a good fun ride. I'd actually forgotten about it, quite a lot of it, so it was nice ride again. <laughs> Always nice when you find a quiet path. <laughs> so, in the interest of trying new sites places this time, we've decided to try the um, what's it called? Finnegan's Irish Bar in Universal Studios. That's the one you walk past when you walk in across from the Mummy and all that. Give it a try and see. Yeah. Irish Stew in Florida. Guinness. Not sure I'll be able to check this beer in untapped. <laughs> but I went for a black and blue, which is a Guinness and a blue moon in one bar. I think it looks really nice in that top. It's really weird at the top. The, the blue moon overpowers it. But there is an aftertaste of Guinness, of, of Floridian Guinness as well. <laughs> yep, I went for the Guinness stew. Jem has a corned beef sandwich, and Jerry has a chicken sandwich. Yes, good, good corned beef. Looks good. Anyway, it's okay in time. Did you uh, enjoy your lunch, honey? It was lovely, it was really nice. That was good, wasn't it? We just missed the Blues Brothers because we were. I was finishing me uh, Black and Blue Brothers beer. No. My favourite show. Yeah, you like that one, don't you? Shaking your tail feather. I love shaking my tail feather. So we're going to go and do Fast and Furious, and you want to go to Men in Black now, don't you? Yeah. Fast and Furious. More like slow and steady for me. If, if, after that beer, if you're right. It's when you can. Um... A 15 minute queue. No trespassing yet, they'll allow us in. Gemma's very excited about the party bus. I'm very excited about the Ford Escort in the middle. That's awesome. <laughs> Much classier than that. Well, that was Fast and Furious. I didn't record them because you're not allowed to. Nice cars. Well, cars. Although I do like that one. Opinions on Fast and Furious? That'll be the only time I ever ride it. Yeah, it wasn't great, was it? It was awful. It's it was universal, that was pants. So. Yeah, very short. It made no sense. It made sense. But it just wasn't very good. The party scene was laughable. Yeah. Really Yeah, not a hit for us, that one. Now, Jim wants to do Men in Black, so we're going to head over to there now. I'm just going to nip the loop. I think Jamie's saying I'm just going to nip the loo every time I pick the camera up on purpose now. Did you enjoy your week? I did, I 
I got 213,000 on Men in Black. No. I got the red button. I wouldn't have won had I not got that red button. Fucking tired, that ride, Yeah, it is a bit, yeah. The roof's still got a hole in it, but they've well, roughly the patched it up. Yeah. Still fun, though. They're like twins. Each time we visit it, it looks more and more tired. Send it back to Belfast for everything's great. <laughs> time. <laughs> it's time. Not since our first trip have we been on the ET ride, but today we're going to go on the ET ride. There's no turning back. Welcome. Did you enjoy ET? Yeah. <laughs> we did see uh, Harry Potter as well. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to catch ET, or is yep. it that child is evil? Evil. A bit of parade. I have found the must buy purchase. It is actually picking his face up on the uh, camera as well. It's actually signed by Sigourney Weaver as well. <laughs> yeah, $950 gets you that. With these as well. $3,000 framed and $3,000 framed for that one as well. They're awesome though. Universal not great for seating. I'm just going to perch myself down here on the curb for a bit while Gemma gets us a stab. What is that? This is a mango dragon fruit. The camera isn't picking up just how purple that is. It's cool, it's because it's the colour of dragon fruit. Wow. <laughs> we got seats by the way. <laughs> There's like four seats for the whole place so we managed to get. And I thought it would be a bigger setup. Mm. What have you done? Nothing. You were expressly warned not to. I never looked at the box until it was cold. It's so pretty. That is a nice mug actually. Very nice. Where's it going? I'll drink over this one, it stacks with all my other ones. I like the colours in it. Leave you alone for five minutes. That's why I set you down. I saw it on the wall. I was like, I'm right on my own, you go. <laughs> this refreshing drink, and now we're gonna head to Transformers. Easily to turn, but our task is to deny them victory. Roman, the nasty Megatron. Is there a right piece of work that one? And we will defeat them. Did you enjoy Transformers, son? Yeah, it's a fun ride, Transformers. It is. I think it's the dragon dying in Alley. Oh, yeah. All the way over the water. The cow's it. Twenty minute queue for minions. Since we wanted to go on this last time and Gemma didn't, we'll do it now because I think that's as low as it's gonna be. Did you enjoy minions? Despicable me, minion mayhem of course. Minions for sure. <laughs> it was uh, rougher than I remember. Felt like I was being repeatedly kicked up a bump. <laughs> Donkey and Shrek are out. Seem to have pretty much ridden everything in the park, other than Mummy 
Rip Ride Rocket and Jimmy Fallon, which we're going to ride now. Oh, and Simpsons. We've done pretty well. I actually didn't like I didn't like King Kong. Five minutes suggests Jimmy Fallon is a war gun today. Too much walking straight through. Who do we have? Purple today. So uh, we did Jimmy Fallon, it was alright. Uh, we're gonna sneak in a last ride on Rip Ride Rocket before we leave for the day. We're gonna get a drink on City Walk, I think. Bit on the thirsty side. Five minute queue for Rip Ride Rocket, can you believe it? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? I did, yes. What music did you have? I had MC Hammer, you can't I, um, I did the Easter egg and unlocked the keypad and chose Muse Stockholm Syndrome. But I didn't get a ride video as a result. Not that we have a five. And um, gents, uh, I have to be honest, I'm wearing rather loose fitting trousers and um, the boys took a pounding on that one. I am kind of walking like John Wayne now. That was not comfortable. Thanks I've never had that problem before. Thanks for sharing. You have, in different ways. Nothing. Took a thump then. Yeah, well, you didn't expose yourself this time, so that's good. Yeah, anyway, we're going to walk out now and get a drink. Drink time. Sun's already setting. So Gemma did a uh, little questionnaire for Universal. Heads up if you are get asked, they don't give you anything for free, unlike so you will. <laughs> We're just gonna walk up past Hard Rock and Tooth, some towards Margaritaville. So they grilled you, didn't they? They did. What did they ask? Which do I prefer, Universal or Disney? <laughs> Which, when you sat in front of a Universal member of staff, is a fun one to answer. Anybody yeah. else have Disney? Yeah. But I personally prefer Disney. That's right. Um, Me too, to be honest. It's more of a whole holiday experience. Yeah. Uh, but I think, yeah, it I'm depends what you want. Because Disney for two weeks and not do anything. Yeah. Whereas Universal needs mixing with something else. You can't compare the two, they're completely different theme parks. Yeah. This, there's a lot of stuff at Universal now that needs looking at, looking at. It's looking a bit dated and old. Yes. And the new rides they put in just don't cut it. No. Fast and Furious. When they asked me to rate that, I was like, oh. Yeah. Disney asked me to rate. He didn't look surprised passage. when you said poor. He I will didn't say that. Poor, did he? But <laughs> Disney asked me to rate Flies of Passage because that would have been excellent. Yeah. The scale doesn't go high enough for you. No. But, you know, those two rides are similar. They're both screen rides. Yeah. Universal got it very wrong. Oh, I think the, you know that they did. Yeah, the Islands music. I think it was just. I think it was just a quick fix filler spot. That. Yeah. Right, because it was already proper to that they had the other parks. Yeah, they got rid of Beetlejuice for that. Anyway, time for a drink. Even I'm going to drink a margarita this time. <laughs> I thought if I get a beer, I'll sink it within about three seconds. So instead I went for a much stronger margarita, which I'll hopefully sink in about five seconds. What'd you get? A watermelon. watermelon. And I got the standard margarita, I think the who's to blame margarita. Round two, blackberry margarita. And Gemma has a key lime one. Pomegranate. Key lime pomegranate. pomegranate. That's not yeah, what you more think. You. I know. Oh, the first one was a lot of tequila in it. Well, Good. Nice. Give this one a try as well. Okay. Oh my. That's quite, that's quite boozy. It's nice. The blackberry is really strong as well. The 
blender's just emptied. That can only mean one thing. Gemma's drink's ready. Things are escalating now, the light's going. We got some Jimmy Buffett playing. Oh, more sirens. Someone's just flushed toilet. And Gemma's drink's being filled again because she's finished it. Couple of cocktails done and ready for going back now, are we? Yeah. Little tiddly, or are you okay? No, I'm alright. Good. But <laughs> so we're gonna probably grab a cab back to the room. And I'm not sure where we're going to eat tonight, but we'll find out later. <laughs> and Tohito's bell is ringing. I've literally never heard that before. <clears throat> I have a blackberry seed stuck in me throat from that second margarita I had. It was very nice, it was just a little bit too sweet. So the park's closing about an hour, so we are now in Mass Universal Exodus. I love a Florida sunset. Well that worked out quite conveniently, the bus was like three minutes later than it should have been. So we managed to hop on that and get back. So what are we doing tonight? Um, I think we're going to go to Una. Uno. Because I fancy pizza and they do good pizza. They do good pizza though. They do quite a good mix of good things. They do sort of nice Italian sort of meals as well. They do like American, American Italian. Pasta, pasta, pizza, mm -hmm. burgers. They're pretty good steak. Yeah. They've got good gluten free menu. They mm -hmm. do good cocktails, craft beers. Craft beers. Do we ever walk up to Uno? Uno's a staple for us, isn't it? We, we do go every trip yeah. we say on our drive. So there was a lot of discussion about what we're going to do tomorrow because the initial plan was we were going to go to Islands of Adventure. We've booked on the bus to go to Islands of Adventure. Mm -hmm. I think we should go. And I think, yeah, we should probably get out of, I don't want to say get out of the way, but our plan is we're probably only going to do about half a day in there. There's not many, we're not going to go on the water rides because you get too wet mm -hmm. on water rides and islands. That'd and it's well a chilly know. day tomorrow. It's only supposed to get up to like 16 degrees. So it's a little yes. bit too cold for water rides. Whereas when we did Infinity Falls, it was like 25 degrees. So it was nice yeah. and warm when we dried off. Um, Jurassic Park is closed. Um... So we We've only really want to no do... No more Dragon Challenge. No more Dragon Challenge. So there's so, Forbidden Journey. Yeah, Forbidden Journey, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Hulk. Hulk. And then maybe come back onto City Walk, grab some food or something. Yeah, or and, go out again and go, go with the on, outlets yeah. tomorrow yeah. and Could whatever do. else. And if we want to do, get the outlets out the way because there's only certain shops I want to go to anyway. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. So, there's we'll probably... Oh, something in my... We've got Forbidden Journey. <laughs> yeah, you said that. Did I say Sorry, I've had that margaritas. Uh, yeah, and um, I was going to say something, and that's good. Oh, yeah, we'll probably see you in on International Drive in a little bit. Mm -hmm. We'll have a little walk up and see what there is to see on the way over to Uno. Because mm -hmm. what we have found, and. Um, we're going down past the eye. Uno's past the eye, isn't it? Yeah. Good, because it's pretty colours tonight, and I want some yeah. pictures. So, what we found as far as location, Rosen Inn International is probably more. Closest to the restaurants. Yeah, closest to the restaurants we'd like to eat at. The Rosen Inn at Point is a, you know, it's, it's a little it's bit a, clean, well, like I a like nicer how, area. It's a little bit well, more like manicured. Rosen Inn at Point is it's got a Starbucks in yes. the lobby, so I, because the coffee in the room is horrible, um, but I can go down to Starbucks and get a coffee first thing in the morning. Yeah. It's right there. But breakfast is further away. Denny's and Friendly's about further away than they are from International. My favourite restaurant is Chewy's and that's right down by International. So it's quite a long walk. Miller's is the closest to here. Miller's is good and cheap. The eye's a little bit further away than walking from International. So yeah, I would say as we said on our last we've said in the past, I prefer International and you prefer Point. Yeah. The rooms are basically exactly the same. It makes yeah. no difference. You can't, the I don't think you can go wrong. There's a better route either. from here as you yeah, said. Yeah, it's, it's a more convenient route from I here. I think we're one of the first pickups, whereas mm -hmm. the last well, well uh, currently, and I don't know what this is in the summer, but this um, 
the bus to here is dropping off at the Avanti and here. So when we get on the bus to go to Universal from here, we're basically, it drives over to uh, Universal Boulevard north and then we're basically at Universal and yeah. it's like literally 10 minutes it's if that. 10, 15 minutes, yeah. yeah. Uh, on the way back, he just stopped off at the Avanti. So it was much quicker. Whereas with uh, International Drive, we seem to mess around with the smaller hotels on, over the back of the I-4. Yeah. Um, maybe because it was busy. To be fair, the, the shuttle here, it services four hotels. Oh, does because it? It, when I was booking it, it tells you which hotels yeah. it is and which times it services four. But those hotels that we pick up, it'll come. Yeah, yeah and it's a quiet time. I mean, Universal is so quiet today. Okay, we are now on I Drive and uh, just wandered past Hooters. We've been walking about five minutes. And we're at Hooters and Denny's now. Uh, Friendly's just to the left here. And the eye is just peering us through the trees over there. Still some Christmas lights up. We thought they'd be gone by now. Gem and uh, Dad are plotting additional restaurants for the rest of this trip. There's a lobster feast over there. We've never eaten in that one. Not big fans of seafood though, so probably not somewhere we would like to go. Once we get to the eye, there's a load of restaurants, but we're gonna get head to Uno tonight, which is just a little further on than the eye. We have a feeling that one of our old time, sort of, that one of our old time, one of our recent favorites, is, which was the Brickhouse Tavern. Um, it looks like it's closed, so if you're planning on that one, unlucky, it's, <laughs> it's gone. But just up on the left here is Tony Roma's, which is another one we've been to quite a few times, and we really do like that one. Uh, again, we've not been since it's been renovated, so I think I've mentioned this in the past. Um, it has been recently renovated, so we probably should check it out. Maybe, maybe a possibility for a later day. We don't. We're not really planning things in any way, shape, or form on this trip. We're just gonna go with what we feel like as the night goes on. It's a nice way to do it, I think. But we've got uh, Vito's Chop House on the right and Two Two Tango. Again, just by. Uh, Tony Romas. There's a Taj Mahal Indian cuisine there with CC's pizza. CC's is apparently very good for like loading up on good cheap pizza. I'm one of your classic Florida tourist tat shops, Bergen World, where you can get your uh, cheap t shirts and things. And the mini golf over on the right is the Congo Place. We've been to that one a few times. Sorry, we've been to that one once, we've been past it a few times. It's a really good mini golf course though, definitely worth visiting. So now we're pretty much caught up with the eye. We've got Sonesta ES Suites here, somewhere we've never stayed. Basically because we've always stayed in the Rosen. And the Sky Flyer, is it, was it called that gem? Star Flyer. Star I can't remember the name of it for the life of me. It's like a seven days mine train. Yeah, it is peering through the trees. <laughs> Uncle Julio's Mexican. The Yard House, which is, uh, you'll remember if you're a viewer of ours, that we ate at the first night on our 2017 trip, is just across the road over there. And then, sort of to the right now, you're in a big stretch of restaurants all the way up to Rosanin International. Which is kind of why we're saying that maybe for restaurants and beers, Rosanin International could be a better bet because you would be heading back this way, but going past a lot of restaurants that we really like. Yeah, as we get near to the uh, Star Flyer, Sky Screamer, Cheese Hammer, I can hear people screaming on it. The Spanish news team are over there. I kind of feel like at some point a wrestler could go crashing through their camera equipment or something. Well, Sad times, not only does it look like Brickhouse Tavern is closed, it looks like the place has been a bit trashed. Hopefully that means it's going to be coming something else soon. View at 6360 on the other side has got Charlie's Steakhouse, which is apparently really nice. It's one we've never tried, and a crazy, crazy, crazy ride there. We will ride, I'm going to ride that at some point. I'm not sure when, but I'm going to ride it. And we got Fogo di Chile, another one we have not tried. And here is our destination, just up ahead is the Uno that we're going to eat at tonight. And 
after that brisk 15 minute walk, we're here. Absolutely knackered. <laughs> so Uno wins straight away because they have Maduro Cigar City Brown Ale. Okay. Cigar City Maduro Brown Ale, even. <laughs> and it's very chocolatey. Mmm. Jesus, if you use it, so. <laughs> Last time we came here, he ordered something and we didn't have it. And the girl said, Why don't you try this? It's similar. She was okay, I'll try it. And he was like, Oh my god, it's the best drink I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> best drink I've ever had. This is the beer I had in um, the Yachtsman Steakhouse in Cannes, but here yeah. they do it on tap. But only in smaller glasses, so I'm going to have to have more, more of them. So what are you on? Uh, Wendy said you worked pizza. Looks good. And I got a steak, which I'm going to tuck into. And Jerry got the chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Tasty. And I'm running out of beer already. That's how good the Maduro City, uh, City beer is. <laughs> so we've left um, Uno. This is Longhorn, very popular place to eat. And we're just going to walk back up on this side tonight. Really good meal though. You enjoy yours? Yes. Yep. I had two pints of that uh, Maduro <laughs> brown ale <laughs> on top of what I had earlier. So my little. Uh, Italy. And we're back down now at Buffalo Wild Wings, heading towards I, uh, uh, the I, sorry, just over there, peering over the back. And here's Yard House. Yeah, so we've we've mentioned this mini golf course like on three separate vlogs that we've done now. This was one of the last things we recorded in our first videos. Yeah. We do need to play it again though, don't we? I just said to my dad that this is, that when we have our like, rest day, do you want to come and play this? Golf course is very good. Yeah. I lost down a waterfall. <laughs> That's a real problem. <laughs> <laughs> we played Blackbeard's course, didn't we, the hard course? Yeah, we did, yeah. You need to challenge yourself. Yeah. So I think from this point on, it's kind of new territory as far as our vlogs is concerned recently. Because uh, we obviously stayed at Rosen International on our last trip on iDrive. So uh, we move on from Hooters to Hell at the Moon on this side of the road. Um, the yeah, this is this Hell at the Moon is the dueling piano bar. I think there's a cover charge on that, is there? I would assume so, it's an adult place. Yeah. Uh, next up, Bahama Breeze. We ate in the airport version of Bahama Breeze, didn't we? We did, yes. And it was pleasant, so we'd quite like to try the full version. Maybe we'll try it in this one, we're not sure yet. We're not planning that far ahead. Here's TGI Fridays. We've eaten at the other one a bit further north on I Drive, and that's worth a visit. <laughs> we have eaten at this one. Before. Yes, we've eaten this a couple of times. It's just a bit lacking in atmosphere, this one. Yeah, yeah well, that was a couple of years ago, so maybe it's got its end to do, who knows. And then we're on to a couple of snack places. We've got a subway here. A vape bar. <laughs> and a vape bar, yeah. yeah seems to be fancy. ever popular around here. And then we move on to Walgreens, which is where we're going to call this in and get some, right some stiplides. Yeah, we're not too far from our hotel the back entrance there. of our hotel. Walgreens is opposite and Dave and Buster's is next door. Yeah, so, so that's Dave and Buster's there. We like computer games. <laughs> Or oh, me, who likes computer games. Yeah. I've never been to Devon Buses. We really should do that at some point. Yeah, um, Matthew went. Yeah. And my friends Nick and Mike have been. Because the food in there is apparently really good as well. Right. Might be worth a try then, just for the food alone. Yeah. It's only basic. It's yeah. there, but it's a bit nice. And she's a veggie, so they must do something vegetarian. The Vape and Brew place does beer as well as Vape. <laughs> it's not just a, And then there's a Thai place. The oh, yeah. As well. So there's loads of places that maybe we won't get a chance to go to that are worth a look. Your mileage may vary. Anyway, Walgreens. Okay. Yeah, that's Millers, yeah. Oh, and the helicopter rides are right next to the hotel. Yep. So we pretty much brought you up to date with where we are staying. Literally just over there. You know you're in the US when they give you two carrier bags to carry six bottles of cola. Six small bottles of cola at that. Polar bears are dying for this. And just like that, just across from the Walgreens, we are home. 
So there you go. Stay in the hotel in International Drive and the conveniences it provides. <laughs> and also the collection of garbage and squashing off that garbage.